Hi, this is Buster2178 coming back with you with GPD Win Max, a little handheld gaming system I really like a lot. I would say a little portable ultra PC gaming system that just literally slips right into your pocket. Probably not comfortable, but it's literally a pocket size uh, gaming computer in a way that we are going to show you our PCS3 uh, PlayStation 3 emulator. We're going to show you Virtual Fighter 5 running at 60 FPS. Uh, I will show you and demonstrate that game and maybe a couple other more games. And then if you all have any questions or comments, please put them down below. Um, I'm going to try and keep up to date with certain games and updates and stuff like that and try to show you what my settings are that will best show how the system will perform and as I run the game at the top left hand corner I have my little frames per second I have my CPU usage and the RAM usage to show me the system runs actually which I forgot <laughs> On Afterburner, I need to add another feature. I forgot to monitor my GPU, and it's not going to let me monitor my GPU. Oh, bastard. Oh, there it is. Show and show. So now we got our GPU usage and CPU usage and memory usage for the CPU. The memory usage is for the GPU. The other memory usage is from the is 16 gigabytes memory. So now that we got this all running, play a game. Do a little bit of like um, arcade play. I'm using a wireless uh, controller pad. You can use the D-pad on the GPD Win Max. It works perfectly. It is like the perfect handheld, take them as you go system. It's running Vulkan on the emulator and it's running at 60 FPS. I will show you what I have uh, on settings for the uh, RPCS3. So, it like runs really perfectly. I like it. I mean, it's like a little portable PlayStation 3 on the go. You can even play like PlayStation 2, GameCube. I mean, like, I'm just waiting for the next, uh, next generations. I'll play a little bit here. So it's doing 60 frames per second. It's utilizing the GPU at around 70, 60%, and it's using the CPS around 25, 30%. The uh, cool thing is, I do have it, it capped out on the TDP at 25 uh, watts. So it is, it's pulling maximum power. Right now, I'm looking at my wattage on my wall meter, uh, the uh, power adapter that I have, and it's showing that it's running the full 60 watts. From the whole system itself gaming through the wall so if i were to game portably with this i would get about a couple hours gameplay so i would have to take some type of battery bank to charge it so i'm just showing a little bit of this show you how much frames per second this one does we'll go in another one Let's see what another, another one is. Show you another one. Let's shrink that. So the next one we will show until we show the settings. Because I will show the settings at the end. We're just going to show off a couple of games. 
Tekken 2 I do not have on here because Tekken 2 is buggy. So we'll do Soul Calibur 4. Let's do Soul Calibur 4. That's another 3D based game. So I should have did the let the cash. So every time you load up the games you will have uh, cash to load up. If you don't want to wait just skip around. I think probably like what 20 seconds, 30 seconds or a minute. I'm just showing you real time when you go into a game. Uh, Virtual Fighter, I think I already had cash already. But this is a really great system that GPD, uh, GPD has made, the company. Um, there's another one, Netbook One. Uh, they're making their system, which I really do like. I saw the specs on that. It, out, it, it beats the GPD uh, Win Max, but I I think it's incomparable with the GPD Win 3 that will be coming out. The uh, net, the Netbook One GX Pro will be incomparable of the GPD Win 3 because they'll be using USB C4 and USB 4 uh, newer versions, which will run at 40 gigabits per second, which I really do like, so I can bring it home dock it up, run it through my external graphics card, and turn it into a desktop. And so I can run my other high-end games when I feel the need. I have all the latest dri drivers installed. This uh, RPCS3, by the time of update, is at version 0.0.13-11452. By the time y'all find the emulator or whatnot, you should always look for how to let it automatically do updates. Because there's always updates daily and stuff. And there's always... Um, types of configurations to make the games work perfectly but I found m my configuration where eh, it's good enough for me it is an e uh, it is running in SSD style but it's not like an SSD it's an NVMe it's not through SSD mode but it does support SSD so you can install an SSD or an NVMe SSD type M.2 card. Oh shoot. Like try to zoom please. So we got some soul caliber. Pass all this crap up. We don't need this crap. Soul caliber four. And intro, 60 FPS. Let's go into an arcade mode. Let's see here, what should I pick? What should I pick? I think I should pick good old Ivy. Cause I like Ivy. Ivy's Ivy's cool. You can't you can't go wrong with Ivy. Am I Kerr? A little flashiness right there, but no big deal. It only happens at that. And after that everything else is pretty smooth and going. So I hope everything is showing pretty good. Oh, sounds like it's... Oh, I just have a little audio skip going here and there. Oh, they dropped down to 30. My bad. I thought that would be pretty good all the way through. This is only with certain games. Probably running on OpenGL then.
Yeah, I guess it's only certain games. Let's we'll test another one. Because I think, eh, yeah, Vulcan is good. But this is what my settings are that I use. Uh, you can look at these settings right here. Or compare them if you can. The GPU Vulcan is on Intel. Of course, if you dock it, you'll get better performance. Frame limit off. 75% of the resolution scaling is set for 1280 by 720. Recommend it. It's at 14 by 14 right there. You got V-Sync on. White color buffering. Async multi-threaded. That's like basically all that I only use on the system at all. But yeah, I would say Soul Calibur is a little bit more demanding game. I have gotten like Tales of Zestaria running pretty good and Virtual Fighter running pretty good. Eh, here's some other fighting games too. I'll do one more. I know runs really good on this. Uh, portably wise. Good old Dragon's Crown. We'll test that out. So you saw the settings on what you have to set your RPCS3 for the GPD win. But to me... Eh. I mean, other people could have different settings, so it's up to you on how you want to change your settings. So this is uh, Dragon's Crown. It runs really, really, really great. And this is the game that I wanted, uh, yeah, to play. Because uh, it's a really good action game. But, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you really like this. This is the RPCS3 on the GPD Win Max. Uh, if you all like and you want to see more, uh, request or I will still try to show other random games or emulators of choice. So thank you. Y'all have a good day and have fun. Peace out and happy gaming.